peace and soul, Leo. What's going down? This is Empress Phoenix Fire. We're going to take a look, honey, into 2022. We're going to look at the first three months and see what is in store for you, Leo. I don't know. A lot of the other Zodiac... You know, of course, check out your moon sign, your rising, whatever resonates with you, your north node, your Venus. I think whatever you feel is more potent, right? Your second house, third, seventh house, you know, all of that. We all need to be abreast on our chart interchangeably. Like you need to know what's in your, what sign is in your seventh house, what planets, what signs are ruled by those planets. Like, we need to get into that energy, right? Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me give it a good shuffle. This is for Leo. I'm about to see what's good with Leo. Twenty to the first quadrant. Okay. This one popped out first. Guna Tantrika. Let's see what's at the bottom. We got Mantra Shakti. Okay. So we got Mantra Energy. We got Tantric Energy, right? The unification of the duality of the different hemispheres, the different um, day, night, masculine, feminine, all of that. I think I might I might wind up uh reading that. My phone is charging. Wow. So yeah, we're gonna read that uh mantra mantra shakti realization. Mm. Leo, that's nice. That's strong. I I always love this. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. Okay, yeah, you're releasing. Got some R's here and then surrender. Okay. You got wisdom at the bottom. I'm shuffling these cards. So a lot of the cards are coming forward because that's the energy for the collective, right? It may come out in a different spot for another zodiac sign. And then also, too, you may have it in your chart, right? So this is the realization that you are the key, okay? Now, you know, this could be the realization that you are the key to your own suffering. You are the key to your own happiness, right? So this is why you're going to be releasing actions, places, things, people, all of that. You're gonna start, you're gonna, it's going to start off in your mind what you need, dad. What's, okay, hold on. Let's do this. Okay, we got dissipating energy. Impatience. There's a completion. What's this? We got self-worth. That's your throne. That's your throne. Your confidence with mysticism. Okay. This is you being in your high priestess bag as well. This is also encountering someone with this type of energy that deals with the mystics. Another shaman, a shamaness, right? And that's what could possibly spark off this, you know, be you uh, this completion, you surrendering and realizing that you are the key to your happiness. With the dissipating, I, I remember this was about like them having plans to finally go on a cruise and, and they saved up their money. But um, either they went. Let me see. Did they go on that cruise? Either they, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to look it up. Hold on, you going to look it up. That's also solar plexus chakra, which you will, of course. That's your energy. Okay. Allow gentle flight to your thoughts. Canary yellow supports the creativity in daydreaming. Recognizing the difference between a daydream and a well thought out plan is key as creativity must be freed from its cage. Yeah, I am more than I think I am. Okay. Oh, it was a screenplay. 
right? Oh, but they choose to go on a, on a, on a cruise instead. Wow. It says, beware of being imprisoned by the story you tell. Do you intend to do what you say? A lack of planning does not indicate misfortune. Am I doing what I say? Taking action, content to dream, going in circles, strong intelligence, making excuses, companionship, connection, assistance, procrastinating. Okay. So this is the realization. This is the realization too that you are given the, the tools and the keys. This is what I'm saying. You're realizing where you are your own hindrance and you realizing where you are your own savior. Okay. That is key. That's key. I don't know about you, but to me, that's key. Hold on. Let me pull one of these for you. I think there's a, a, a karmic completion up in March, like by March. I feel like. Yeah, because it's like a hurry up and wait with the impatience. Because now that you realize <laughs> you've been holding yourself back, possibly. Or. Where a door has opened. Descending power. Zinkite. Master Lao Tzu. Zhu. Listen. Mm. What's at the bottom? Ascended Master Hilarion Green Crystal Face. That's a nice crystal too. Discernment. So we have the root and the heart. The, the base level. This is the base level of the highest chakras and the base level of the lowest chakras. Okay, Leo. So this is, again, the duality. The dichotomy, again, so this is what you're faced with, with the Tantrika bringing it into balance and the man mantra of Shakti. We're going to read that, but yeah, this is definitely, I feel like it's going, this is going to be a mystical occurrence this is going to be something that you're going to have to surrender to because i'm feeling like i'm feeling the fire energy in you look at this dream thief refusing to pull yes okay so you are being called to do something leo in january only you know a sacred contract wow netcaster preparations come to fruition so no longer are you going to be in the um, you know, I'll start that business one day mode. I think that came out for Aries. Okay. So I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm feeling, feeling fire. Okay. No longer will you, pro, are you going to be procrastinating? You're realizing the key to your success is not allowing procrastination to set in. Right. But I feel like there could be an aspect of a project of a contract that may be in a growing phase, a gestation phase, uh, maybe even hibernation with winter's dream. And it could provoke impatience. This is in February. I think you're going to have to release that. Like the need for it, to, for it to hurry up and happen. Like you may not know that something has to come into completion first. A lot has to be said and done first. Sacred contract there. Wow. All right, Leo. Let's pull some tarot. Yeah. Refusing to call. <laughs> You've been distracted. Or just lounging, just chilling. You know what I mean? Coming out, but you're going to be coming out of that that energy. And then, like in February, then you, your impatience is going to get sparked off. Like, okay, this has to happen, but we got two of cups. Six of blades. The Hierophant. 
Leo, okay? This has something to do with a marriage, possibly. I'm going to leave the Queen of Cups here. Bottom of the deck, we got Nine of Cups, which fulfillment. Living your best life. Now, that's the Nine of Cups. Is living your best life. With the two, and then with the contract here, it just makes perfect sense that the two of cups came out because that's that's what the, the, the two of cups is a mutual agreement. And I feel like you're realizing now you come into a mutual agreement with the universe, like for real. And of course, when you do that with the universe, it manifests also in the physical manifestation of that contract of someone else. You know, that's embodying a vessel just like you, okay? In any form that it is. And then, like I said, there could be a holdup in February. This is what I'm saying with the impatience, the winters, and then the, even this winter scene here with the Six of Blades. But this is, you know, getting to safer ground, right? Because they're, they're on, you're skating on thin ice, especially when there's impatience in the mix. And it's right around the corner because with this card, I remember this is the throat chakra too. So be mindful of what you say, what you release from your mouth in February. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because this is like not waiting for the paint to dry. Um, he was trying to move the moon along. So that way it could become day. So it could be the next day because there was something that he really wanted to do. But of course, you know, you got to let certain things play out. You got to let um, certain events, astrological, astronomical events need to take place for certain things to pop off. Um, a catalyst, a catalyst for a different thought pattern needs to happen as well. You may need to release, let certain things go. You need to, you need to um, empty your cup in order to for it to be filled up again, right? That's what I'm seeing, Leo, like needing to empty your cup. Leaving that baggage, that past baggage, especially for a new, could be a new relationship, right? A new interaction, preparations come to fruition. And it also could be risky. <laughs> like, I'm feeling like, you know, like your savings could be wrapped up in this. Like, let's say this is a business transaction. And you putting all your savings in. You putting it all in. You you quitting a job, leaving. You're picking up and moving. It, it, a few things. A few things that you're doing. Maybe in the interim of this contract being signed, legitimately, like let's say um, your lease is up in one place and then, but the new place won't be ready until March, but your, but your lease is up, oh my God, I have no time, is up in January, but the new place won't be ready until March, okay, something to that effect. And I think you have to surrender. I feel like there could be the help of an older masculine energy. There could be a, like a grandfather that watches over you. Okay. That could have left something for you. Um, or it could just be like this person could be well learned. He was definitely well learned, well versed educated older man I feel like and I think you're going to be like him like when you you know like get that of that age you're going to be like him but in a, if you're a fem female and a feminine energy and then even as a male you may not be as hard I feel like or as strict as this um father figure right it could be a mother figure too right I think that's why the, both archetypes is there this can be um, a grandmother too, okay? A grandmother making a transition, possibly. 
Mother figure, father figure. Hold on, y'all, because I'm running out of film. I'm running out of space. Let's read this, Kali. It's crazy. I opened right up on it. Her voice creates and dissolves universes. Her vibration within our souls creates our life path. You have the sacred power of voice. What did I say about the throat chakra? How shall you express it to call for um, effective divine assistance in all ways? Do not allow negative thought or speech to undermine your inner spiritual connection. Claim your voice and your power to create. Listen for inner guidance and then set your course in motion. Though it may not yet be visible in your, in your physical world, a new order is generating within the soul. In time, it shall manifest and transform physical circumstances. The power of the word as a creative force has been acknowledged through the scriptures of multiple spiritual traditions. Word is vibration. It is resonance. It is sound directed into intentional form. Mantra is sacred word, a word that holds not only the power to create form, but has medicinal qualities for healing mind, body, and soul. In taking form, it creates new and vastly in improved circumstances on all levels of our being. The sound of a beautiful voice can draw us closer, and the shrill sound of something harsh repels. Sound can bring harmony from chaos and create beautiful patterns for manifestations that are healing and enhancing of life. It can disrupt and break apart that which has been built. Sound is powerful. The oracle indicates that you have the power of voice at your disposal. You have the power to speak your truth, to set yourself free, to choose what you say and how you say it. What did I say about February? Okay. This is not about controlling others. It's about claiming your power of choice and voice. And with that, Leo, I didn't even have to pull clarification. I didn't. I, there's nothing to pull. You know what it is. You know how to get at me. And with that, I'm going to see y'all on the check-in. Peace.